Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. And in this one I'll show you how to make these mouse watering 5 inch mini quiches. They're quick, they're easy and they're absolutely delicious. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. I'd also like to thank my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thank supporters for their very kind help in producing these tutorial videos. Your amazing financial support really helps with ever increasing equipment, ingredient and editing software costs. I'll be giving you all a name splash and shout out a little later in the video. Okay, let's get on with today's recipe. I'll start by making the hot water crust pastry. Get your pan of water onto a medium heat. This hot water crust pastry is what's used in our British pork pies. It's quick and simple to make and is absolutely delicious. Add the salt to the flour and mix it in. Now form a well in the middle. Once your water is up to temperature, add the lard and butter to the pan. Remember, lard is a pork product, so if you don't use or don't like that, use a solid vegetable fat instead. Once the butter and fat is completely melted, pour the liquid straight onto your flour. Now using my trusty wooden spoon handle, I'll bring it all together. Once it's all mixed, turn it out onto the bench. The pastry dough should now be cool enough to work with your hands, but always check first. Form the dough into a log shape. Now using your dough scraper, divide it into three pieces. Wrap each piece in cling film, flatten it out as shown. Flattening out your pastry helps it cool quicker in the fridge. Once all three are done, get them into the fridge for at least an hour before you start the recipe. A quick word on the equipment needed to make these mini quiches. I'll be using my 12.5cm or 5 inch individual pie tins for these. Now these are available in the website store if you're interested. I'm greasing mine with a little lard, but oil, butter or any vegetable fat will do the same job. I'll also be using my adjustable stainless steel rolling pin too, also available in the store. For this recipe I'll be using the 1 8 or 3 mm spacer. For cutting the circles you'll need something around the same size as this pastry cutter, about 6 and a quarter inches, that's around 16 centimeters. I'll leave a link in the description for these really handy large pastry cutters. Ok, now I'm going to be blind baking these pastry cases, so preheat your oven to 170 Celsius, that's 340 Fahrenheit or gas mark 3. Ok, on to rolling out the pastry. Take the pastry out of the fridge around 20 to 30 minutes before you start rolling it. Give the pastry a few folds with your hands until it becomes supple and malleable. Don't try to roll it as soon as it comes out of the fridge, it will just crack on you. Dust the bench with an even coat of flour. Place your disc of pastry in the middle of the bench and give that a dust of flour too. Now roll out your pastry as shown. Once you reach the required thickness, and that's so easy with these rolling pins, cut out the circle. Now for ease of videoing, I'm just showing three of these quiches being made, but this recipe will indeed make four quiches using these sized tins, so keep all of your excess pastry cutoffs. Right, nothing difficult so far. Centralise your piece of pastry over the greased pie tin and manipulate it into place. Make sure you leave a little of the pastry sticking straight up out of the tin as shown. 
this will allow for any shrinkage. And for those guys and girls with long fashionable nails, use a spare piece of pastry to push it right down into the corners of the tin, where the sides meet the base. Now take a fork and prick the pastry in each tin eight times as shown. This is called docking the pastry. It stops any buildup of trapped air causing the base of the pastry to bubble up in the oven. Now take a scrunched up circle of parchment paper and place it on the top of the pastry as shown. What we need now is for something to weigh the pastry down as it bakes. A false filling if you will, like blind baking ceramic beads or dried beans. I'm simply going to use rice. Once it's in, lightly press it down. OK, that's mine done. Now get them into the preheated oven and set your timer for 25 minutes. OK, time's up on that blind bake. So get them out of the oven, but leave the oven running at this same temperature. Pour the rice back into its container. Now don't waste those parchment papers that can be used over and over. Okay, get them onto a wire rack and leave them to completely cool. In the meantime, we can whisk up the eggs. And there's nothing complicated here, just crack them into a large jug and give them a good whisk. And once the eggs are nice and runny, you can add your double cream. Adding cream to the eggs gives this filling a wonderful rich taste and texture. And that's it, that's the eggs ready to go. Right, it's time to fill up the cases. Start by adding a little grated cheese to the base. Cover the cheese with a little of the egg mixture. You can season with salt and pepper as you go, but be careful how much you add. If you remember, there's salt already in the pastry and the cheese is quite salty too. I'm leaving mine as is. If needed, we can always season after they're baked and on the plate. Okay, I'll play you some relaxing YouTube royalty free music while you sit back and watch me build up this quiche. And there you go, all done. OK, now this is a very basic quiche. There's lots of different ingredients and techniques that you can use in making quiches. Check out my two salmon and broccoli versions. It's such a versatile dish. Now get them into the preheated oven and set your timer for 25 minutes. And while those are baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my four recipe books a quick shout out. The books have lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in them. And also book 4 in this series is totally dedicated to bread recipes. Also the skeleton style oven gloves now supporting our company name are also available too. Just check out the link in the description box to our website store if you're interested in any of these items. Ok, time's up on these beautiful mini quiches. These are done, but if yours is still a little light in colour, just give them a few more minutes. No two ovens run at the exact same temperature. And they're looking really good. 
Once they're out the oven, keep them in the tins, but move the tins to a wire rack. And as you can see, they are well puffed up. But don't be disappointed when they deflate, because that's what quiches do as they cool. But that doesn't make them any less delicious. Now I'll let them sit on the rack for a few minutes, and when I come back, we'll have a quick taste. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, they are still quite hot, but as you can see, no soggy bottoms here. That's due to the blind bake. I'll cut one open so you can see the inside. And that toasted cheese aroma that's drifting up with the steam is absolutely incredible. Right, time to cut myself a little slice off. And here we go. And those are really delicious. The filling is soft, light and so delicate. The pastry is crisp and done to a tea. Absolutely amazing recipe. Hope you all try these at home. You'll get a big thumbs up from everyone who tries these beauties. And as promised at the beginning of the video, here is the latest list of my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thank You button supporters. And they are... Lawrence O'Rourke, Sheila Oberegna, Wu Yinan, Lady Vandekat, Anne Cleave, Sam and Charlotte, Curtis Collins, M. White, Xenomorph, James K. 3250, Kaya 1111, Zoe Primrose 2309, and G. Maranth 7472. And there's also one who wishes to remain anonymous. Thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.